Welcome to the Tabletop Simulator tutorial series. I'm Kimiko from Berserk Games and this episode focuses on hosting and connecting to servers. As you can see, you can play Tabletop Simulator in either single player or multiplayer. If you click on multiplayer, there are four options for you to choose from. We're going to go through each one so you understand how they work. When you go to the server browser, you will find many different servers available. There are three tabs at the top. The first one shows you all the servers. The friends tab will show you if any of your friends are currently in a game. And the LAN tab was added to make it easier for you to join friends that you are playing with locally. On the blue line, you can click on each name or icon to sort them accordingly, either alphabetically, numerically, or based on if they are unlocked or locked. Additionally, you can refresh the server browser to get an updated list and you can hide both locked and full servers so you can easily find a public server to join. And finally, you can search for a specific name or game type and that will list those servers that are available. Next up, we have the host server option. This is very straightforward. You just type in a name for your server. I recommend putting something in that people will actually want to join as this is what shows up on the server browser. And then just type in your password. The slider is where you can set the max number of players you wish to have join, anywhere from two to eight. With the LAN tab in the server browser, connecting locally with your friends is much easier, so you don't need to enter in any info. However, if for some reason you are having issues, or you'd rather type it in manually, then you can use the Direct Connect option. Just enter in your friend's IP and password, and you're good to go. And finally, we have the Hot Seat option for those of you who are playing with friends and family at home on the same computer. Just choose how many people are playing and click Start. You will be guided to choose who will be going first and which color each person would like to be. Then you can click your game and begin playing. At this time, there is no way to change the players' names. The game plays just like in regular multiplayer with each player having their own colors and their hand areas will show their cards as hidden. The rest of the players just have to remember to turn away when it's not their turn so they don't peek at your cards. When you end your turn, your hand is now hidden and the next player's hand is shown. As you can see, it is very easy to host your own servers and connect to other players' servers. One important thing I'd like to mention is that since these aren't dedicated servers, you may need to do some tweaking to be able to host or join a server. Tabletop Simulator has a net punch through which will allow most people the ability to host without having to manually open their ports on their router. There may be some people who will still have to manually open their ports, however. If you are encountering any issues at all, please view the Having Issues thread that is on our Steam forums. Try out everything on there, even if it isn't necessarily in your category. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below or on our forums. Our next episode will be covering the RPG kit and all the fun things you can do with it. Thanks for watching! See you next time!